All right, it's time to knit our left gusset for our mittens. And um, this, this should be familiar to you because we've done it with the right, but it will arch to the left. And uh, you've completed the cuff, so you may have done it and had it ready to go on your needles and, and are started now. And um, the pattern will tell you that um, your first round, like we've done before, I'm knitting the adult large, is the setup round. You knit until there are 20 stitches. If you recall, we did this, we knit 20 and then put a marker, but we're going to knit until there are 20, place a marker and knit those 20 stitches. And then we're going to begin the charts. Now, don't forget that when you're knitting in the round, you will start, um, in this instance, the thumb is done last. So you will start here and you will do this round. And we know that that dot means make one right. So we will take a look at how to make one right. After I do my setup round, then I'll come back and I'll do one, two, three, four, five plain rounds with the make one right. You'll work around and then you'll do the mittens. When we did the right side, we did the mitten chart first and then we did this chart first. So let me get to the point where I'm ready to do a make one right and we'll give it a look. All right, for row one, you'll see where it says to start, that up here, start and then repeat to the marker. So it's basically just knitting, and then this is where our make one. So you make one right, right before the marker. Now on my mitten, I left one stitch here, um, just because it makes it a little easier to do that make one right versus trying to make one right just like on the end. So I'll knit my first one. Remember how we go over, sorry, we go over our cord to help us avoid those ladders. All right, we knit one and then we're gonna make one right and we're gonna increase one stitch. So remember you lift the bar up and you put the short leg to the front. So this is a short leg, this is a long leg. And then you're going to knit into that short leg to the front and that's make one right. And that will make things lean to the right. And then it says knit to the end. And this, these 20 stitches for my size are my thumb. And now I will repeat that four more times before I begin to add my color work. All right, I've completed my five plain rounds, and now I am ready for round six. And so, just like in our previous one, when you get this established, then you'll be able to stack things on top of it. So, you'll do the hand part first. So, we'll do two gray stitches, and then we'll introduce the red stitch. And again, we talked about before that there's no need to uh, no need to catch floats or anything like that because this is just usually got about three stitches in between or one in between. I'm going to hold mine uh, like I do where I split the difference. And uh, now I'm ready for three gray stitches. One, two, three and a red, you have to snug up your red one where you added that in, three gray, one, two, three, and a red, three gray, red, three gray, red, three gray, and a red, and then you've got a little bit of where we, we've built this out. So you're starting to see the little 
the little angle that we have built out. So let's look at your chart. So I finished with a red, so I need to do one, two, three, red, four, five, and then make one. So let's let's do that. So I need to do one, and then two, three, red, one, two, which is correct, which takes me right up to my marker where I need to make one left. I'm sorry, make one right. So again, let me show you how I do that. I lift the bar between the stitches. Whoop, lost a stitch. Lift the bar, and you can do it. You know, some people like to like to lift it from behind, rear, and put it up. I just, it's easy for, th for me to do things with my right hand, so I just do it that way. But again, you've got the short leg, which is here, and the longer leg, and then you've got to knit into it. The make one right is probably a little bit more difficult to do. So sometimes I pull it up like that, give it a little pull, knit one, and now I'm going to move to my a mitten chart. So I'm going to knit two and then I'll start doing my red, my one and then three. So we'll knit two gray, one red, and now back to three gray and one red. And you should have a check by the time you get to the end of this on your chart that you have done it right. And then you'll continue to build above a little cross, X, there's two, three. I should have one red according to my chart and one gray, it turned out right. Okay, now I will continue on to build up so I will come back because remember, we're working the hand part first and then the thumb gusset. So now I'm ready for row seven where I'll do the uh, color work, your plain rows in between, and then you'll have your plain rows to end. We'll do that and come back and take a look. All right, I've completed the chart for the left gusset. And so you can see that we built the left gusset out this way so that when you put it on, there it will be. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so now, after you built your left gusset out, this is your thumb stitches, then um, you will finish the mitten. Excuse me for my cold. You will finish the mitten, the top, just like you have done. So these are your thumb stitches here. They will be put on the holder, and then you will go ahead and, and follow the, the directions and the pattern for what you got last week. So... Here are the thumb stitches, so it actually <laughs> becomes a gusset like this. There you go, leading to the left. And as always, you know, when you do color work, you've got to give it a press when you're done, and this will, this will look good and behave uh, once we give it a steam after we have completed the bin.